Our farm lays in the foothills of the Smoky Mountains. We've been here since 1820. This land is as important to me as one of my kids. The crisis that's going to occur in terms of our security, uh, the finances of our country, when oil starts coming to an end, are just awful. The reality is fossil fuels are a finite resource. And as we deplete them, you know, they're not being regenerated. If you contrast that with what you're seeing here, you know, every single acre you're looking at of switchgrass could be a thousand gallons of fuel year after year. When Dr. Taylor first said that she was going to turn a switchgrass plant into gasoline or, or ethanol, I thought, well, you know, stranger things have happened. What we're really doing in the biorefinery is demonstrating at a very large scale how to extract sugars from plants. Once we have sugars, then we know how to make very useful fuels and other products from those. The energy demands are so huge around the world. In the U.S. alone, there's 150 billion gallons of gasoline used today. And we want to make a significant fraction of that renewable. This enterprise is a joint venture between Genera, DuPont, and Danisco. And by combining those specialized talents together, you make the winning proposition. If you act alone, more than likely you'll lose alone. What we'll see over time is that various regions of the world will have different crops that are a, a best fit locally. Uh, the answer is uh, think globally and act locally. This to me is a perfect example of doing that. A lot of farmers have a lot of pride in the fact that they are part of a solution to a global problem. We're trying our best to produce food and fuel for uh, generations to come.